So now it's my turn. We're changing the order. Instead of, I know. <laughs> Instead of hearing from Rich, you're going to hear from me right now. So I'd like to introduce Rebecca Stockley. You are here because applied improvisation is important to you. You've seen the value that applied improvisation can have on individuals. You've probably felt it. You've seen what it can do to groups, communities, organizations, families. You're passionate about applied improvisation. Am I right? Has this ever happened to you? So what were you doing in uh, DC last week? I was applying improvisation. What? <laughs> so wh why are you going to, uh, to Asia? I'm going to apply improvisation. What's that? Uh, so Rebecca, how is it that you make money? You're an improviser. How do you pay your rent in San Francisco, this expensive city? I apply improvisation. What? <laughs> Has this ever happened to you? <laughs> Say what? <laughs> so I've been doing research. I've really embraced the term applied improvisation. It is not a new industry, by the way. We have thousands of practitioners all over the world. You know many of them. There are hundreds of you here. Well, 200 is hundreds, right? <laughs> hundreds of us here, and yet, with a significant number of people, applied improvisation does not mean anything. I put the term on my website. I use it in my proposals. I use it in conversations. And people don't know what the heck I'm talking about. People I know really well who know that what I do don't know the term. This term is a secret, you guys. We need to make it public. Now, it might have been useful for us when it was a brand new industry for us to have hundreds of different definitions for applied improvisation, which we have. Do a little research on the internet. There's hundreds and thousands of them because honestly, we all do apply improvisation differently. We, we each work with different people. We each do different work. But you guys, I'm advocating for one umbrella definition that serves all of us. So, I've created a hashtag, define AI. I've asked some of our colleagues to send me their definitions, and I had to abbreviate some of them to fit them on Twitter. But Twitter, it's define, uh, it's hashtag define AI. Over the course of this few days, define applied improvisation and post it. We'll have a whole mess of crap, but we can filter through it and find a definition that does work for all of us as our umbrella term. Now, I've been working on this, as you can imagine, and this is the one I've been using lately. It's the use, uh, no, it's not. It's the offstage use of the principles and practices of improvisation. Now, it's, it's concise, it's tight. Some of them, the ones that are out there are much more elegant. I swear to God, some of them are beautiful. So take a look at what's out there, define applied improvisation, and post it. Are you with me? Yeah. If you don't have a Twitter account, get a friend to do it for you. The hashtag is on the wall over there. Define AI. Oh, with a hashtag before it. Hashtag define AI. All right. It is now. Oh.